was not planning on beating the hell out of this car today, but we got some, we got some good testing done. All right, guys, time to get this thing out of the garage, get some initial impressions, what we got going on. I'm not gonna tell you any lies. I'm actually pretty nervous. I'm not nervous about the product itself. Oof. I'm nervous about this because this is a pretty big project and I did it myself, so. You guys know how I go about these videos. I like to give you some initial impressions, kind of first reactions, and then after I put a few miles on these modifications, or these upgrades, um, then, then I'll give you the full complete review. So we're just gonna try to see what kind of footage we can get today. Uh, a few things I wanna listen for and think about. God, I'm scared. Pull this thing out of the garage. No binding, no grinding, no weird noises right now. We'll get her out of the neighborhood. I really am actually kind of nervous driving out of the neighborhood here. Uh, a few things I'm trying to pay attention to, particularly at slow speeds, are going around corners, listening for binding, grinding, skidding, kind of chirping of the tires. You guys know if you uh, do a welded rear diff or you have like posi traction, like a locked rear end, um, going around tight corners, especially at slower speeds, like in parking lots, things of that nature, that's when you get the chirping because the inside tire needs to turn slower than the outside tire but if the rear end is locked it's trying to go at the same speed um, so it's you, you get that chirping so far I'm not noticing any of that which is a good thing so I actually spoke with Traction Concept shortly after the installation video went live. They've been really, really supportive throughout this entire process. I can't express my appreciation enough for Traction Concepts. With that being said, I'm going to give you a thorough, honest, and truthful review of this product. You guys, that's what I try to do. I wanna give you guys all the information uh, and I don't wanna sugarcoat things. So if, if I don't like something, I'm certainly gonna let you know and I'm gonna let Traction Concepts know as well. Uh, that's what this is all about, testing products, right? So uh, here I am in this little parking lot trying to do some tight corners again, some figure eights, and just see if I can hear anything. Because um, like I've said before, like Traction Concepts says, I mean, this is an LSD conversion kit, so it should act like an LSD. It should allow you to drive normally in situations like this, doing these tight figure eights without any skipping or skirting or squeaking or squealing, but then, when you really start to spin or push the car, pressure should be applied to those spider gears, as far as I understand, and kind of lock, in quotation marks, the rear end and spin both tires. That's the goal. So right here in these figure eights, I'm not hearing anything weird, not feeling anything binding, and uh, this feels good. Again, it's the low speed stuff. This is where you really notice that if you're on like a welded diff where your tires are gonna be chirping and sort of fighting you, uh, and there's nothing here, just turning these tight corners. I really want to launch this thing or do a burnout, but I'm so nervous. I'm really nervous to do a launch, but we got to try one. Don't know. I feel like we spun them both. Just the way the rear end acted, I feel like we spun them both. Oh man, we're chancing it. We're getting on the interstate. Just, just kind of keep testing this setup at speed. tough to know but Ooh, we're gonna have to check the film but it looks like we got two it looks like we got two let's try this again manual mode never used to be able to brake boost 
brake boost. Try it. Yo! <laughs> Trying to get grip again. It is wet out here. Brake boost doesn't work. This car, this Q50 sucks. It, it stops you at a certain RPM when you try to hold the brake. I'm still actually really nervous. I'm, I'm kind of shaking a little bit. Again, not because of the part itself, but because this is a pretty big installation and it just was some questions. And you know, I took this project on. This is my daily driver. Uh, so there's some risks and I still I'm not gonna try to jinx myself here um, Traction concept says there's no real break-in period for this again It's it's kind of a block set that goes inside your rear diff carrier So there's not really any meshing or grinding or material contact that this part is making so it doesn't really Necessarily need to break in but they do say that the more I assume it's because of the tension in the springs um, but they say the more use that it gets it actually starts to feel better and better in the rear end of the car um, but my goal today with this video is just to sort of give you sort of my initial impressions right we just got this thing installed and I wanted to get it on the road and see what it felt like in like a normal daily driving situation because that's the goal we want to have a dual purpose vehicle one that we can try to maximize its performance like on a track day or you know spirited drive in the mountains but when you drive it to work you want it to be friendly you want it to be street and road friendly Whoa. one thing I did notice leaving my neighborhood is that I hadn't turned traction control off uh, you can see it's off now uh, but when I still had traction control on uh, it kicked in a lot sooner like uh, it was a lot it seemed a lot more sensitive and i imagine it's because uh, both wheels are trying to turn equally uh, when i turn traction control off i don't notice it around these tight corners at all uh, but in the neighborhood uh, i could feel it it cut it was you know cutting power and you can see the traction light flashing and i wasn't even doing anything um, so my suggestion definitely would be if you have this Traction Concepts LSD conversion kit installed in your Q50, just automatically immediately turn off traction control. It's, it's not a bad thing to leave it on, uh, but you're just going to notice it, you know, turning tight corners. And if you do a U-turn, you know, depending on how your roads are set up, you do a U-turn going trying to get into your office or place of work, uh, it might cut some power for you. So that's my only suggestion here so far. I don't know if it shows up here, but we got two marks. We got two marks on the road. This is the evidence right here. We got two launch marks here and here. Now it is wet, so we're not getting a great idea for performance, but the fact, oh, and you can see two marks and we're actually getting a little bit of rubber. I actually raised the rear end up a quarter of an inch. I didn't like that it was squatting so much, and I'm gonna bring the front up too, but that's a totally different topic of conversation, but I like, I like where the rear end sits right now. One, an, one other initial observation I wanna make here before we end this video is that the rear end feels, it's acting a lot differently when we're launching or when we're doing burnouts in the car. We've done a couple now, um, but it feels like it feels a lot more predictable and in control. And that's really what we're looking for when we have an LSD installed in your car. You, you guys, you rear-wheel drive guys will know what I'm talking about. Before installing this kit, when you, when I would launch the car and I had a one, one wheel peel going, one tire fire burning, right? The car, the rear end wanted to kick out. It feels like it's out of control or it's unpredictable. Or if you're trying to, you know, whip some shitties, the car's fighting you. It's trying to almost it's, it's trying to do whatever it wants to do. But now launching the car, the, the, you can feel the tail get loose, which tells you obviously the tires are spinning, but it's not like it's sliding out on you hard. It's like both tires are spinning and you can feel the rear get a little squirrely, but it feels like it's still going in the same direction. It's still pointing forward. It's not like, it's not whipping out to the side and you know, causing you to go out of control. I'm gonna roll onto the interstate here again one more time. Just get it up to speed, accelerate a little bit harder, see how it feels. Just a little space.
like it. I like it, guys. We, we've done that pulling out of the driveway, uh, going slow through the neighborhood, doing some figure eights. Uh, we got a couple of launches out of the way, which is amazing. Uh, I was a little hesitant to do that. You're, you're never going to get one of those crazy reaction moments from me. I'm not one of those YouTubers, one of those clickbaity YouTubers. Uh, but, I, you know, I just want to give you real life real life scenarios, real life reactions to stuff like this. And I mean, so far so good. I, I'm pleased right now. It looks like we're spinning both tires. I'm excited to get this thing on some dry pavement and see what it can do. Um, and we're going to test this thoroughly. So I hope you guys will subscribe if you haven't already and stick around um, because we got to do some launches. We got to do some 60 foot tests. We got to do some uh, zero to 60 times if we can find some open road in Mexico. Uh, We've done some before, we've gotten some before footage. We know what this car was capable of doing with a one wheel peel or a one tire fire or one turner burner. You guys saw my original, my really, really early video on how to do a burnout in this car. Uh, and that's something we were dealing with, peg legger, you know, spinning one tire and uh, we're done with that now. We're done with that now.